Hi there, my name is Kenny Drummond. I am the Principal Teacher Curriculum for Maths and Technologies here at Armadale Academy. Just here to show you just a couple of features of the Promethean board that I've been using. Uh, these babies have plenty of uh, features to them, but what I have here is the OPS, the Android that sits at the back of this. Uh, if that's activated and we've got our HDMI in, uh, we'll often find uh, one of these wee guys here, our home button for the Promethean. That brings up a whole load of different things that you're Promethean can do. It can take you home to your home screen. Uh, we'll go back into the HDMI, which is probably your most popular feature. It can take you to Active Inspire's uh, whiteboard software inside the computer images. Uh, but a couple of things that I just wanted to show you today is the write on feature. This will write over and above your HDMI uh, display. Now this is often utilised for me anyway when things go a little bit peep tong. Okay, if I need to annotate this, if my OneNote's not quite activated, not quite working for me, this is my backup because this will just write over the top of the screen. Now it will not save on the OneNote. This is writing on top. It's almost like a little layer on top of it. Um, but this uh, is really, really handy, like I say, for when things go wrong. There's a highlighter there. Uh, with various different colours, etc. Um, also, you can view the ink on and off, uh, and there's also your, your classic eraser or erase all ink. So that's just one thing that we tend to use uh, here. We also have a couple of other ones. Uh, what we've found, Smart Notebook uh, now no longer has timer capabilities. Uh, so the Promethean timer is really, really handy to have just sitting at the side when you've got your young people working on your main piece of work. And um, really, really easy. You've got some pre-built ones, 30 seconds, one minute, 10 minutes, and so on an hour, if you're that way inclined. Uh, and then in it goes and it will travel round uh, and make a wee sound at the end. You can, of course, reset it. What's great about this is you can have multiple timers. So if you're doing a little bit of co-op learning, you've got discussions going on, you could have multiple timers all at once. You can name them different things. And if you don't need to be displaying something from HDMI, you can hit these wee two arrows and it will make that full screen handy for things like examinations, tests, or things that don't need uh, a display. You've also got some options in here for analog, uh, digital time and analog time, sound on and off, etc. But that's pretty self-explanatory. The final feature that I wanted to show you, you can work in tandem with your timer or uh, independently is the spinner. Uh, now the spinner has a number of different options for you. Let's move it up and you can see it's spinning already. Um, we've used this in the past for random generation of, uh, of kids and you can do it in a number of ways. Uh, there's numbers, there's vowels, names, if we look at the names one, we've pre-built that with some generic names and then we spin the spinner. That's allowing for thinking time during questioning, that five to ten seconds that we really should be aiming for to allow our young people to think and then all of a sudden we've got a clicker ready and Ashley is ready to answer. Of course, we can add different spinners. There's different options, there's different settings. You can select item once where Ashley will be removed from the next spin, or ideally you want to be turning that off so the same kid can be picked more than once uh, so that Ashley's not chilling out um, after she's been asked once. And so again, we've got Ethan there. And, and it just, like I say, just a quick tap and it moves it quite nicely. Uh, we'll move that out the road. I need to press the middle of the spinner. It's now not moving because it's spinning. There we go. Uh, and we can continue doing that. There's, so there's many different options. Again, like the timer, there is a full screen option, which takes you into the full screen mode. Uh, and you can see it a little bit clearer. And again, there's a sound option if you want it. These are pre-populated um, just initially, but again, you can go into your little uh, pen and you can add up to 44 different items. So well enough for um, a class, a full class and a little bit to spare. So those are just some of the features that we use here at Armadale Academy with the Promethean software on top of uh, our HDMI display.